Welcome friends. In this video, we will understand what is a stash in the word of Git. When we say that we stash something, we, we also understand that we will make it some temporary change and then get it back when required. So to understand what is a stash, let, let's understand with uh, the help of the uh, commit diagrams as we have been doing in our previous videos. So I have again prepared a presentation for you. Uh, let's understand this with the help of presentation. So in normal day-to-day -day life uh, uh, using Git, what we do, we have a history of commits and that is going on with other developers and uh, uh, team members and we create a, a branch over it we make some commits and then merge it back to the main branch or release branch or whichever branch is uh, currently going on now uh, uh, now looking at the previous videos and understanding the concepts we understand that master branch is usually the main branch and uh, there are various uh, uh, release branches and there are various feature branches which we work upon right so this is the day-to-day -day scenario that, that we work on but this is the ideal case that we make a branch we make some changes and merge it back to the repository but this does not happen in in uh, real life what we do uh, we create a branch we do some commits and then to debug or to uh, know something that how the flow is going on or for some other purpose we put some print and loggers sometimes in the code i would say oftentimes we do it and any other something local that that should not go into the repository like uh, uh, in my project i have uh, uh, multi uh, multi module projects and uh, it is a big project so I do not want to build the complete project again and again, but some modules which are necessary for the current work. So what I do, I uh, uh, comment out the modules which are not required into the POM files. But this change should not go into the repository. Yeah. And if accidentally we merge it, this is a problem. But what we do to avoid it, what we do, we take care that we do not commit these changes. We do not stage these changes. And these changes should not go into the repository anyhow. Yeah, But this is a, a human intervention and it is uh, uh, required to take care of uh, such changes that uh, it does not go into the repository. And we can do that. I mean, uh, we can uh, take care of it. We we. We will not stage it. We will not commit it, and we will take care that it go. Uh, it it does not go into the uh, repository. This is not an issue, but the issue is if some change is always required on my local, like commenting out the modules in the POM file or uh, putting some loggers, and I do it again and again after uh, whenever I merge my changes to the branch. This is a repetitive work and I need to do it uh, again whenever I merge it because because my changes are vanished whenever I uh, my local changes are vanished whenever I merge it or say when I change the branch if there are uncommitted changes these will go away but I, I, I need these changes on my local and I will do it again but this is not required so what we do we take out this portion which is which should not go into the repository like something local which which is required for some other task or from debug or some feature that we are uh, uh, dealing with currently and it is not ready it should not go yet or some printers or loggers some commented code or whatever we take this part and we make a stash out of it so what uh, making a stash out of it, uh, what does it do? It tells Git that this is the portion that you can assume that it is not uh, it is not changed anymore. So in your local, we have the change 
in my local i have the change but the git does not know about it while committing it if i have stashed it yeah so this is the purpose of a stash and a stash also works on uh, multiple branches suppose i am on branch a and uh, i have made some local changes i have made a stash out of it and then i switched the branch then also i can use that stash and reapply that stash and uh, uh, get my changes back i mean the local changes which which we are not committed and which we are not required to go into the repository we will see it practically uh, how to do it with the tool uh, that we have been following uh, until now that is get, get extensions but let's understand the concept first so uh, this is the concept that we uh, make certain portion of the code change stash so stash is something that is there in the local system but it is not known to the git and how stash works so stash is not a, a, a single uh, uh, object that we we can uh, do only once and then reapply it we can make multiple stashes like change something make a stash then change again something make another stash then change something else and then make another stash how does it work it it works like a stack in the data structure we have stacks in the data structure where if we put something into a stash like say a stash a let's call it call it a stash a so it will reside into the stack at the bottom yeah then we change something and then we make another stash it will go on the top of it yeah so it is the same structure which stack follows and whenever we say that uh, stash pop then first this b will come out whatever changes we have done in the stash b will come out and applied on the local branch then again if we say stash pop then a will come out okay so it, it works like in this fashion in the next video we will see it practically how we make changes in the code how we make stash and how we uh, commit and the code in the stash is not gone into the repository and uh, in this video we have understood it conceptually so if, if you like the video uh, please do like subscribe and uh, comment if you want to ask anything and uh, i will push the next video very soon and uh, uh, it was requested also uh, from one of the audience so i am making a hurry in making it and uh, thank you for supporting me and if you want to encourage me again uh, you know what to do like subscribe and comment so happy getting uh, bye until then